Hey yogis, it's Sina here, the Yoga Apothecary. In today's flow, we continue the A to Z of well-being series. P stands for play. So grab a towel and some water and I'll meet you on the mat. Are you getting enough time for play in your life? I like to spend time with my family playing board games and putting together jigsaw puzzles. And I like playing with our dog, Jed Walker, chasing him around the house in the evenings as he tries to prevent me from getting his chew bone. And Jed Walker loves it too. There is wide agreement among childhood psychologists that play behaviors are really important during the development of process throughout childhood. But playfulness, even when we are adults, can lead to creative thinking and smarter decision making. Play offers the unique chance to exercise both the analytical and creative aspects of our thinking. When it comes to making important complex decisions, we need as much mental firepower as possible. Not only that, play is pleasurable and gives us a surge of dopamine, which is the happy chemical in our brains. Unfortunately, as a society, the amount of time and the number of opportunities for play has slowly eroded. Certainly, the rise of technology and device use has impacted the time spent playing. Play and work are not opposites, nor are they mutually exclusive. Playfulness is an important factor in effective teaching and learning, both formal and informal. So today, use this time to play on your mat. Have fun with it. Even laugh out loud if it feels right. And consider how to introduce more playtime at home and at work with your colleagues, friends, and family. And with that, we'll get started on our backs. So as we begin, we're gonna come to our backs. In a restorative bridge pose, you're welcome to leave the hands on your hips. Soft gaze or shut the eyes, root the feet to the earth, leave the shoulders rooted. You can also tee out your arms or cactus your arms if you prefer as we come into this present moment, this time for your practice on the mat. Not thinking about any cares or worries, just this time you're dedicating to your practice. As we come into the present moment, take a body scan. Notice any tension or tightness as it will feel far different at the end of class after we have played in our practice. As we lengthen our breath, you'll inhale through the nose, fill up, take in all the air you think you can, and exhale, maybe you push it out and make it audible today. Another just like that. Inhale, fill up, take in all the air you think you can, Hold at the top, and when you're ready, exhale it out, release. Begin the ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Inhale through the nose, seal your lips. Exhale through the nose, constricting the back of the throat like you're fogging up a mirror or impersonating Darth Vader. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through the nose. Although we are not in a child's pose, this pose and child's pose or any restorative pose is really available at any time in this practice as I guide you from the side. Another full cycle of breath as we open the eyes. Start to draw this right knee to the chest. You're welcome to leave your left foot exactly where it is on the mat, especially if your hamstrings feel tight. But if you want to take this further, you can either hover the left leg long foot is flexed. You can also root it down to the earth and let it rest there. Your option, I'm going to hover the leg, drawing this right knee to the chest for the stretch. Switching sides, let the right leg come long or let it rest on the mat if you left the knee bent. Left knee now is towards your chest, left foot is flexed, and the right. I'm hovering again, breathe. And take it one more time each side. 
Bicycle the legs, switching sides. Draw the right knee to the chest. Breath out, switch for the other side, left knee to the chest. From here, happy baby. As we've done before, I won't be touching the bottom of my feet using the arms to draw the knees, but rather let the hands float. Mine are up, yours can be rooted to the earth. Drawing your knees to the underarms, leaving the hips rooted, and maybe a soft, playful sway from side to side. Certainly makes me feel like a kid doing a motion like this, and hopefully throughout the practice, we'll have play feeling, a feeling of play. From here, we're going to fire up our core and do a variation of a crunch. Start to straighten the legs. As you point the toes, take a breath in. As you exhale, peel the shoulders, pull the navel to the spine, round through the shoulders, but the navel's hitting the low, low mat. Breathe here. Exhale, lower. Now flex the feet, open the legs wide. Take a breath in. Exhale, give it a crunch. Close the legs, point the toes, lower down. We're gonna take this two more times. Here's your first crunch. Lower down, flex the feet open. Second. Last time. One. Open. Two. Close the feet. Lower the feet to the mat. Pause. Cross your ankles and start to rock. Front and back. And make your way into our tabletop pose. Stacking the knees under the hips, wrists come under the shoulders, neutral spine, flat back, crown is long. As you inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, open the heart space, gaze to the clouds, soft bend the elbows. And exhale, cat pose, create a C shape with the spine, relax the head and shoulders, push the mat away, tops of the feet are pressing into the mat, as if widening the legs to the edges of the mat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, tabletop. Sway the hips to the right. Shoulders come left. Gaze follows your shoulders. Inhale, center. Exhale, we come to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center in tabletop pose. From here, you have an invitation to play a little bit with a tabletop hover, tapping the hand to the opposite knee will take it a total of two on each side. So take a breath here, inhale, exhale, hover, give and a tap, give and a tap, give and a tap, give and a tap. Lower the knees back to tabletop pose, push back on the heels as we come into a yogi squat. Holding in this position here, elbows opening up the thighs, thighs opening up the elbows, hands come to heart center, crown is long. As you exhale, we'll take a round of bootstrappers. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Coming so that your arms stay lengthened, hands can rest on the top of the feet or maybe they come towards the big toe. You'll take an inhale at the bottom. And as you exhale, you start to stand up as if moving into a forward fold. Hold here at the top of the breath. You might need to widen your feet ever so slightly. Take a breath in, leaving the elbows long. As you exhale, start to squat it down. You might soft bend at the elbows when you reach the bottom. Breath here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Pause here. Notice the heels may now be on your mat versus where they were before. And then from here, we're going to walk it out to our plank pose, holding here. Wrists are under the shoulders. Draw your heels to the back of the mat. Crown is long. Knit the low ribs together. Push them out away. Breath in. And as you exhale, we come to our first downward dog of the practice. Start to pedal your dog, lifting one foot and then the other. 
Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. Press the mat away with the palms. Spread the fingers wide, pressing through the thumb and the first finger. Ears line up with the biceps. Come to a still down dog, as narrow as you need. Imagine drawing the mat behind you with your feet and imagine widening the edges of the mat even though they don't move. From here, we're gonna move into a kind of a quick motion of a playful pike to down dog. We're gonna take this five times. So you may wanna readjust your stance. You're also welcome to pause and see what this looks like and then come back to it. So take an inhale, exhale to your plank, inhale down dog, exhale plank, inhale down dog, exhale plank, inhale down dog, two more, exhale plank, inhale down dog, exhale plank, inhale down dog. Yes, yogis, take a falling out breath, inhale through the nose, exhale, let it out. Another inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Walk, step, make your way to the top of your mat. As we take a ragdoll forward fold, have fun with it. Maybe you find more movement than you normally do playing in your ragdoll forward fold. You're welcome to soft bend the knees, sway from side to side. Relax the head and shoulders. Draw rainbows in the sand with the fingertips. Interlace the hands behind the back. Maybe they reach towards the head. And then as you release your hands, take this opportunity to shift your weight from side to side, which helps also release those hamstrings. Pause here. Slowly begin to bring the big toes to touch. Leave a sliver of light between the heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to the shin, shoulders at the height of the hips. Gaze over the nose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Dig through those heels. Arms come up. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. Knit the low ribs together. Palms face one another. Have a soft gaze for just a moment to set your intention to play today on your mat. When you're ready, inhale the arms up. Take your right hand on top of the left elbow. As you inhale, we hinge up and exhale, we crescent over to the right. Maybe you gaze towards the left bicep, squeeze glutes and thighs. Inhale, center, release for the other side. Left hand's gonna grab the right elbow, hinge up. Exhale, we crescent over to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Heart space moves forward as we inhale, half lift. Hands to the shin, shoulders at the height of the hips, neutral spine, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, bend the knees, step back to plank. As we come to our first cobra pose, coming on the knees, thighs, chest lowers. Palms are gonna stay outside the ribs. Draw the shoulder blades back together as if they could touch. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, cobra pose. Draw the hands to the back of the mat. Exhale, fold, take an inhale here. And exhale, downward dog. We're gonna take Three more, pike to plank, and then we're gonna repeat exactly what we just did. So take a breath in, exhale plank, inhale down dog. Exhale plank, inhale down dog. Exhale plank, inhale down dog. Take another breath here, lift the heels, exhale bend the knees, look forward, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, dig through the heels, root to rise. Grabbing for the right elbow, inhale here. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, center, other side. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, center. Exhale, hinge at the hips, heart space moves forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold, plant the palms, bend the knees, step back to plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower knees, thighs. We come to a sphinx pose. So from here, you may need to readjust yourself on the mat, drawing your elbows underneath the shoulders. Palms can be flat on the mat. You can also interlace the hands if that's how you prefer to take sphinx. Drawing the elbows, broadening through the shoulders, drawing the belly to the mat, press the tops of the feet to the earth. As you exhale, plant the palms. We're gonna take a motion, a play motion in a sphinx pose that's good for your triceps. You can either leave the elbows under the shoulders or slightly bring the palms forward, depending on how this feels, if you've never done this before. I'm gonna take it three times. You'll, you'll take an inhale, and as you exhale, your goal is to press into the mat to push the arm straight, leaving your low body where it is. So take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Come down. Pause here with your breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Take a falling out breath here. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. As you exhale, knee to nose. Round through the shoulders, wrists under the shoulders, tucking it tight to the chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Lower the left knee and toes. Take a moment to find center, drawing the right hip back, left knee tucks forward, right hip pulls back, left forward. From here, we'll sink back to a half split. Right toes towards the nose, dig and drag the right heel to the back of the mat. Second toe is towards the nose. We try and take the arch from the back, so maybe you graze your fingertips or maybe they come to heart center. As you inhale, we're gonna shift forward and back a few times to find some rhythm, revving up the motion to meet in a standing split at the top of our mat where the left leg will come up. So graze the fingertips, push the mat away. Option to tent the fingertips or leave the palms rooted. Square the hips and shoulders to the front of the mat, toes point down. You're welcome to keep a very soft bend in this right knee if you need to. Pausing here for a cycle of breath. And as you exhale, we'll come to a forward fold. So the left foot meets the right. Widen the feet ever so slightly, hips distance apart as we come to a twisted forward fold. Bend the right knee, leave the left leg long. Tent the right fingertips to the left corner of the mat. Left hand is gonna reach high. If you wish to take a half bind, this uh, left hand's gonna tuck into the right thigh or leave the left hand reaching for the clouds. Breathe. We come through center for the other side. Bend the left, straighten the right, tenth to the left hand at the right corner of the mat, right arm reaches high. You're welcome to stay here or move to the half bind if you took it on the other side playing with tucking the right fingertips in the left thigh. Breathe. Release the hands back to center. Peace fingers grab the big toe. You may want to narrow your stance slightly if you wish. Pause here, soft bend the elbows. Let the head hang long, relax the head, neck, shoulders. Take an inhale and as you exhale, half lift. Start to extend long, lengthen through the spine, arms come long. Inhale, release, bend the elbows. Take an inhale, exhale, half lift, and then release. Lift the right foot, place it so that the toes come to your wrist. As we meet on the other side, same here. Soft bend the elbows again, relax head, neck, and shoulders. Take an inhale, 
As you exhale, half lift. Inhale, release, bend at the elbows. Should feel this in your hamstrings too. Inhale, half lift. Breath here. Exhale, release. Slowly, one at a time. We're going to take two bootstrappers. Maybe you'll notice this feels different than we did before. Again, hands can rest on the palms or tuck by the toes. Arms lengthen, breath in. And as you exhale, come into the squat. I can already feel a difference. Maybe you do as well. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, squat it out, definitely deeper. From here, inhale, star pose. Feet parallel to the top of the mat. We try and take the arch from the back, spread the fingers wide. And as you exhale, we come to mountain pose. Start to narrow the stance, almost hips distance apart. Draw the shoulder blades back, knit the low ribs together, pause here. As you exhale, relax the hands. Start to sink the weight into the three corners of this left foot and draw the right knee to the chest, foot is flexed. You're welcome to stay here, rooting down to the mat. If you can take this further, lean a little forward and grab the sole of the right foot. Lengthen back through the crown and the spine, breath in. As you exhale, stamp this right foot down and pause, breathe in. Exhale, chair. Sink down, bring the weight to the heels, knit the low ribs together, pull everything towards center. Two legs or one tree trunk. Pausing here. And then reach the arms in front of you and start to widen so that you can come down to your bottoms. Rolling onto your bottom as we're gonna come into a round of scissor kicks. So come to your back. You may have done these with me before in a video, but I'll show you again how they're done. You're gonna reach your hands behind the right shin. Left leg is gonna hover, point both toes. Peel up off the mat. This is one, bringing it towards the chest with your exhale. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Let the feet land wide into the edge of the mat. Knees can knock to center. Then from here, we're going to push our way up, rolling up, to come to a reverse tabletop pose. Coming through tabletop, reversed into a reverse tight plank where we point our toes. We're gonna take this three times and play with this. If this is something you haven't done before, you can hit pause after you see it and then come back. Again, we're gonna try and do this three times. When you're in reverse tabletop, you don't have to let your, your head sink back. You can keep it neutral in alignment with your body. So widen just ever so slightly. Take an inhale in the reverse tabletop pose, push the mat away, and as you exhale, slide it back, point the toes. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, point. Last time, inhale, exhale, point. Inhale here, exhale, lower, cross the ankles, and make your way over to our downward dog. You're welcome to take a falling out breath and we'll meet for the other side. <sighs> Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up and as you exhale, again, take a moment to lower your right knee and toes. Start to draw to center, drawing this hip back. Left hip back, right forward, right knee tucks forward, left draws back. Pausing here, sinking back for a half split. Left toes are towards the nose. Dig and drag the left heel to the back of the mat. 
Try and take the arch from the back, second toe towards the nose. Begin to find the same dynamic movement we took to rev our way up to a standing split. Again, right toes are coming to the back of the mat. I'm sorry, the heel to the back of the mat, toes point down, square hips and shoulders. Use the drishti. And when you're ready, right meets left at a forward fold. We'll take another round of a twisted forward fold. Bring their feet roughly hips distance apart. Bend the right knee. Tent the hand, the right hand at the left corner of the mat. Left arm can reach up. You're welcome to take the half bind. If you want to take this further, the right arm is going to come under the right thigh. Reach and grab for the hand. Left leg long. Breathe. We'll inhale center for the other side. Left knee bends, right leg long. Tenting out the left hand at the right corner of the mat. Right arm high. Moving to that half bind. Or maybe you take a full bind. Breathing into this space. Breathe. Release the palms. As we come for a round of two bootstrappers, we'll skip what we did before. Widen the feet a little more. Breathe in. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale, come down. Release. Inhale, star. Exhale, mountain pose. Pausing here. And again, root through the three corners now of the right foot. Left knee comes up, foot is flexed to the chest, hold here. You're welcome to hinge forward just so slightly to grab the sole of the foot and then lengthen through the spine, crown is long. Hold here. Exhale, release. Take an inhale. We exhale to chair. Staying here, reach the arms, sink it down. We're going to come to our low bottoms, and this time we're going to take a round of row your boat. Merrily, merrily, merrily. So you can keep the feet um, planted, or you can hover them, pointing the toes off the mat as you come side side. So we're going to take it five on each side. I'm going to take a breath in and a breath out. <sighs> hover the feet. Coming, and it's hard. You want to really focus on keeping your hips in alignment, toes and knees together. Row it to the right. Torso come left. Inhale, center. Right, left, 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 center. I think we have three more. Right. Left, center, this is eight, nine, and ten, I hope. Roll it down. Oh yeah. Feet come to the edges of the mat, let the knees come in. You're also welcome to just rock them from side to side. From here, we're going to take a supine twist without having the knees and uh, touching the earth. They're going to hover. So tee out the arms to your side. Bring the knees towards the chest. Take a moment. And as you exhale, let them hover to the right. But they don't touch the earth. Leave the shoulders rooted. Inhale, draw them to center. Exhale, let them hover. They don't hit the earth. Draw center, breath in, exhale, hover. Inhale, center, exhale, hover. Inhale, center, let the feet plant, let the knees come to center. Hold here, breathe. 
Reposition your feet, cross your ankles. Roll it up to a seat. Grab some water and towel off. We'll be back for another short part of the flow. See you in a minute. As we come back to meet in Downward Dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. As you exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Pause here and tent the fingertips as you softly begin to straighten the front leg long. If this is too difficult for you, you can bring your hands to heart center and hinge forward 45 degrees and hover there. We'll take a full cycle of breath. Then we bend the knee when you're ready. Give a rubbing motion. Coming into the standing split, we took this before. Pause here. Again, square hips and shoulders to the front of the room. Use the drishti. When you're ready, step this left foot back. Reposition the hands. Maybe you soft bend this left knee as we'll rise to a crescent lunge. Right knee over right ankle, left leg comes long. You can have a soft bend in the left knee, drawing the right heel back, tucking the left knee forward, palms face one another. As we exhale, we'll meet in a warrior two pose. Right knee comes over the right ankle. Try and make the hips as even as you can. Opening, trying to open up, even though you may be tight, this right knee over the right ankle. Root through the pinky edge of the left foot. Arms are gonna reach in opposite directions. Relax and soften through the shoulders. Gaze over the right fingertips. Interlace the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulder blades down as you exhale. One more breath in. And we'll exhale to a humble warrior. Offer your heart's place closer to your right thigh. Gaze at the left ankle or toes. Release the hands at the bottom of the breath. Shift the weight forward. Plant the left palm, we'll take a twist. Right hand is gonna reach high. Dig through the big toe mound of the right foot. Again, hold here, notice the weight distribution in the body. Start to walk the left finger, ha fingertips or hand, palm slightly forward. As we come to a variation of side plank, you have the option of taking a tripod. You can stack your feet, you can tree your leg, or you can float the foot, whatever you feel like today. Pulling the hip points up, reaching the arm to the front of the mat, breath in. As you exhale, we'll come to plank and hold here to catch your breath. Then you'll exhale for a forearm plank coming down on the right side. And you're welcome to stay here. Or if you wish to take this further, we're gonna take plank jacks. Uh, three to five times. So you'll hold in center, breath in, exhale out, inhale center, out, center, out, center, out, center. Was that fun? Exhale, lower down. We're back in our Sphinx pose, hold here. Option, interlace the fingers. Broaden through the collarbone and shoulders. And then exhale, we're going to lower to take a Superman variation of locust pose. So arms are gonna come in front of you. Take a moment to find your breath. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, Superman locust pose. Fly like Superman with your cape behind you as we play on the mat. Breath in. Exhale, release. Put a palm to the mat. I said palm and I meant your face. <laughs> Put a cheek on the mat. Windshield wiper the feet. And then we're gonna make our way to downward dog as we meet for the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. 
As you exhale, step the left foot in between the hands, tent the fingertips. Again, we're going to straighten this front leg in a variation of a pyramid pose. If you needed to hover at 45 degrees with the palms towards the chest, please do so again. From here, we bend the knee, we rev up, standing split, square hips and shoulders, right toes point down, foot is flexed, reaching for the back of the room. And then from here, we softly land, find our stability, come up with an inhale to crescent lunge, pause here. We exhale, open up to a warrior two pose. Again, maybe an opportunity to shift the weight, drawing the left hip more even with the right. And then re-bend the knee, lengthening, rooting to the mat, pinky edge of the right foot, extend the arms, soften through the shoulder blades, interlace the hands, take a breath, roll back. Inhale, exhale, humble warrior. Offer your heart space closer to your left thigh. Gaze at the right foot or ankle. Release the hands at the bottom of the breath. Graze the mat. We'll come to a twist. Plant the right palm. Left hand's going to reach high. Again, dig through the big toe mound of this left foot. Notice the weight distribution in the body. And then take what you did. Move the right hand forward, making your way to whichever variation of side plank you took on the other side, holding here for a fuel cycle of breath. Exhale, make your way to plank and pause. Now we come down on the left forearm. Pause here. You're welcome to stay static. Holding here, which is already good firing, we're going to take five plank jacks. You'll inhale, center, exhale as you widen. Taking it five, are you ready? Exhale, 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 exhale. Come down, sphinx. Sure you can tell my breathing is a little revved up as is yours, I'm sure. So we'll pause here for a moment. I'm gonna take a different variation of locust pose. That is a good prep for peacock pose. A locust prep pose. I'm just going to move myself a little lower on the mat. So from here, I'm going to come down, extend my arms. Hopefully I don't mess with this microphone too much. If I do, I'm sorry. You're going to lift up so you could put a fist below the navel and then come on the other side. So you can take, my left palm is in a fist, my right is reaching around the palm, holding it as if I was doing a Heimlich maneuver that might help visualize what I'm going for. And then the goal is to push and lengthen so that your legs will lift and hover behind you. We'll just hold for a few seconds. If this is not for you, you can take another variation of locust pose. You can also always skip it and go to tabletop or child's pose. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, hover, lifting those legs, pointing the toes. Inhale here, lower. Release the palms, put them under the shoulders. And push yourself into tabletop. Sit back on the heels and pause. And then towel off and grab water. When we come back, we're going to play with moving from bridge to wheel. Coming into a wheel pose always makes me feel, again, like being a child and it's playful. If that's not for you, you can stay in bridge pose and skip that. Um, and then we're going to quiet it down just doing a few more postures to close out the practice. See you in a minute. So as we come back to the mat, before we do our wheel, we've got a little bit more of postures that I mentioned we're going to do. First is a down dog twist. 
So start to narrow your stance and bring the feet to the edges of the mat, rooting the heels if they could touch to the earth. Maybe the hands come slightly back as well. Leave the left palm rooted, take the right hand, let it fly, and then grab the left shin. Gaze under the left forearms, maybe the torso comes under the forearms, head peaks as well. Leave the hips rooted, breathe. Exhale, release, plant the right palm, float the left up, grab for the shin. We come under the torso, hey, hey you guys. Pause here, breathe. Plant the left palm, bring the toes in, put the bottom on the earth. Reach the legs long, think staff pose, flex the feet. From here, draw this right foot to the left thigh. Pausing here, inhale the arms up. As you exhale, come, come down but lengthen through the spine. Don't arch and hunch the back. So keep the crown long, lengthen the spine, and wherever the hands land that they land. Breathe. Plant this right palm behind the right hip and thigh. Reach this left arm forward, take a breath. And as we exhale, we come to rock star. Did you know you're a rock star? Today you are. Actually, every day you are. Lower down, breath in. Draw it up, rock star. Exhale, lower. Let's switch for the other side. Right leg comes long, foot is flexed, bringing the sole of this left foot to the thigh. Inhale up. Exhale, we hinge. Again, trying not to arch the back. Breathe. When you're ready, left hand's going to plant at the hip thigh. Right arm reaches forward, breath in. Rock star. Exhale that up. Inhale lower once more. Rock star. Inhale lower. We'll meet in center. Before we come to wheel, we're going to do another round of a Navasana variation. It is entirely up to you. If you want to leave the feet rooted and the arms here and just hold, you can 90-90 the feet floating. You can straighten your legs. I'm going to take a variation aiming to bring the knees to chest and reaching for the soles of my feet and then opening, if I can, opening up my legs, keeping the hands to the feet and holding there for a few cycles of breath. Whichever variation or skip it you wish to take. Leaving the sits bones rooted. Coming back, I'm going to try that one more time. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Draw them, draw the soles of the feet to touch. We come down. Let the knees splay open like a book. Again, lengthen through the crown. Hold here for a breath. And then we come to our backs when you're ready. As I shared, you're welcome to take a few rounds of bridge. And in fact, we're going to take two rounds of bridge. So you could take a third round of bridge. Or if you want to play with wheel, you can play with wheel. Because we're here to play today, you guys. So let's start with our first round of bridge. Feet are roughly hip distance apart. Three corners of each foot is rooting down. Palms are flat, long, like airplane arms beside you. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, peel the hips and heart space up. Spin your heart space as if to the back of the mat. You can interlace your fingers under the low back, coming up on the balls of the shoulders. Push through the heel, squeeze glutes and thighs. 
Try not to crane the neck. Have a soft gaze. Find a drishti on the ceiling. Breathe. And then come out of it. One vertebrae at a time. And then sink the hips down. Pause here. Windshell wiper your knees. We're going to take another round of bridge. And you can also play with lifting your heels. So we're going to do that on the second time. From here, start to peel up as you exhale. Squaring hips to the ceiling. Interlace. Come up on the balls of the shoulders. Pause here. Maybe you lift the heels, feel the difference, and maybe pulse the thighs. A few times, just noticing what this feels like. Or stay and take what you did on round one. Replant the heels, release the palms, lower down. This time, let the knees come back to center, pause. And then we'll move to wheel pose variation, or you'll repeat a third pound of bridge, or you can already take an early Shavasana if, Sina, you're like, that's not for me. So if you want to take wheel, your hands, and hopefully I don't pull my hair out of my head, your hands are going to face right outside the ears so that the fingers are pointing towards the shoulders. You'll, of course, take an inhale to prepare and exhale. You'll lift into bridge. Your elbows do not need to straighten all the way. Some of our bodies, the way our anatomy is, um, we can't straighten our elbows. There's variations to advance in bridge, but it, if you can't keep your elbows completely um, straight, it's harder to get into some of those postures. So I always have to actually soft bend my elbows. And then, you know, your legs can be more straight or more bent, but you do want to you do want to be drawing them to touch as if you had a block come between your thighs. So you'll take an inhale here and try and hold it for a few breaths, maybe three breaths. Inhale. So just holding. You can gaze to the back. You can gaze at your hands. Squeezing those thighs, pressing through the heels. One more full cycle of breath. And then try and come out of it softly, coming down to the head. Don't put pressure there. Lowering down. We'll draw the knees to the chest and rock from side to side. We're going to take pigeon on our back with a twist. We've done this before many times. We'll start on the right. Right heel is going to come to the knee, foot is flexed on both feet, drawing and opening up this right hip and thigh. Breathe here. Then tee out the arms. Take a breath. Let it land where it lands. Coming towards your left as I look your way. Coming back to the ujjayi breath. Hopefully you had some wheel playtime fun. Meeting our way in center for the other side. We switch. We draw. We open. We flex. Breathing here. Feel the stretch. See the arms and let it land where it lands. You can gaze to the left or stay center. Coming back to center. I'm going to come back to one last happy baby. Notice the difference from where you started. Breathing here. And I'm actually going to tuck my hands under, coming to the back side of my heels, and now give it a little tuck. And a rock for one last moment of play. Release the hands. 
Draw the knees to nose, nose to knees. Reach the hands maybe to the soles of the feet, knees or shins. Hug, use every muscle just for three and two and one. You know where we're going to the goal pose of our Shavasana. Great job today, you guys. I hope you had fun. Splay out the heels and toes. Release the shins, your knees, the thighs. Root the hip points to the mat. Release the core and chest. Shoulders, roll them to the mat, to the back. Release the forearms. Palms are open to receive. And release the face. Your chin, cheeks, eyes, brow, and the sweet top of your head. Notice the support that is under you, around you, and within you. Shavasana. to your body. Just notice what it feels like to be in your body. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe you touch each finger to your thumb. And slowly begin to draw your toes to touch and reach the arms above your head to take a good morning wake up stretch. Inhale through your nose, send the breath as if to your toes, and as you exhale, slowly begin to bring your knees towards your chest, and softly rock from side to side, and then make your way over to your right side, using your right arm as a pillow, and pause here on the mat. Pause to thank yourself for coming to the mat, to thank your body for what it just did for you during your practice. Playfulness can enable you to frame or reframe everyday situations as entertaining, intellectually stimulating, and enjoyable. Take time to play. You'll reap the rewards with an improved sense of well-being and overall health. When you're ready, Slowly press your way up to an easy seat. Joining me at the top of the mat, we'll take one last falling out breath together. We'll bring our hands to heart center. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale the thumb to third eye center, center of intuition and exhale, bow forward. The light to me honors the light and the beauty and the yogis have joined for this practice. For I'm so forever grateful. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Yoga Apothecary YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. And to learn more about how to live a happier, more vibrant life, sign up for our bi-monthly newsletter, The Wellbeing Elixir. And stay tuned for next week when we cover the letter Q 
in the well-being series from A to Z. Namaste.